<laughs> Hold it now, we're showing you how to catch the hickory shad today from the shore. <laughs> Downtown Richmond, baby shad run 2020. Oh, got the shad, baby, with the marabou jig. <laughs> double dutch, baby, double dutch. So the setup when you're catching hickory shad, I like to use, you can either use a jig head with a little trailer, a spoon, or a shad dart. And you can just tie those right up to your line and put a little weight above them. Or you can do a little tandem rig, use a little swivel. And then have one short piece of line go into your lighter, lighter jig, and then a longer piece of line go into your heavier lure. Just like that, I've had success on the spoon and the jig head today. It's a good little thing. You can get more baits out there, more fish. And then Rachel over here, is using a big spoon. She's catching them too, baby. Woohoo! Woo Dad hooked up on a hickory. Nice big one over there. Biggin'. Got any smart weight on this thing. So this is how you fish for the hickory shad, or any shad really. You want to cast it out into that current. Let your bait drop down a little bit. Pop it up, reel it in. Pop it up, reel it in. If that's not working, then you can try to just reel it in constantly. See if that's working. If you aren't getting any bites, try varying the amount of weight that's on your line to see how deep it gets because you might just need it to get down a little deeper for the shad to get it or a little more up top. Just try and find where those fish are and then you'll get on. Oh, yeah. He's on there. <laughs> Rachel on the hickory shad. Oh. Fish. Find me. You're picking him up. Use both hands. Yeah, watch out. Man. <laughs> He's really hard to get out of there. <laughs> so we're in downtown Richmond today, fishing the shad run. This happens every year, late March to early June. Right now, the hickory shad are running, but you also get American shad a little bit later, and then the striped bass or striper also fall up the river. So they usually live in the Chesapeake Bay or saltwater. But in spring, they run out these rivers. The past couple years have been a ton of fish. It's been good fishing, so we'll see what we can do today, baby. Fish on, Jack. Jack's on the fish. What's he got? <laughs> what he bite on? What he bite on? Trout dart. Shad dart. He's fat. From got the him shore, on baby. Nice grub. Oh yeah, on the shore, on the shore. We don't need no big Oh yeah. Pretty crowded out here today. You can see I want to take advantage of the Shad Run. It's definitely become more popular the last couple years. We're still in the early part of it, so there's not as many fish. Once it gets crazy, there's fish like you just see in boil line across the entire river. <laughs> but we're catching the early bite. It's been pretty good so far, catching some nice size hickories. And I tell you what, they fight like crazy. There you go. Woo, I can't out of the water. Sorry. <laughs> it worked. Yeah. Oh, double dutch, baby. Can I ride the bus now? Rachel wants in. Rachel. <laughs> I, want to be, I want my picture to be in the bus. 
Can I pick him up? Can you uh, film? I, I want to hold him, but I don't want to pick him up. Okay, just film this. Don't just hold us. Good, 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 He's hooked up, baby. Oh, it snapped him off. Diogo is choking today. Keep it taut. Woohoo, it's a hog. I might switch to a spin now, too. Good work, Rachel. Thanks. Three fish today. Nice fish. Right. Good, yeah, good. <laughs> what you say? He wants to walk. I'll, I'll tango. I'll tango. This one's big. Oh, yeah. That's a bummer.